Okay, so we're back with Jane Doe and we're now going to look at the process of uh, resubmitting. Uh, Jane has decided she wants to make a few changes to, to her essay based upon the, the Verisite report to try and reduce her 13% further and so she's going to edit her document. So to do that, you can't do it from the, the report section, she needs to go back to her OneDrive where she has the document stored originally. So we're going to go back to, to her OneDrive and we can see here in OneDrive, just, to, uh, just in case you've forgotten how to do it, um, that's done from the dashboard. So I'm just going to click on the dashboard and you can see here we have our Microsoft um, block and the Microsoft block we have the OneDrive. So we're going to click into the OneDrive. Now back in the OneDrive we can see the original document that was submitted by Jane, Jane Doe Mental Health Essay, and we're going to open that document for editing. So we click on it first, and this is all being done online, you don't even have to open up Word on your machine, although you can do it that way as well, as you see from the editing document part. So we want to edit this document, we click on editing, we can edit it in Word on our machine or we can edit it in the browser. So we're just going to assume that we, just for the sake of, of ease we're going to do it from within the browser. So what we're going to use for comparison purposes, we're going to use the original um, Verisite report. We're going to put it up side by side with our document so we can have a look-see. Okay. So um, we did we did say that the red one quite possibly was a direct quote, and and on review, on review, um, Jane has discovered yes, this is a direct quote by Dr. Costa. So what she's going to do is put it in inverted commas because it's a direct quote and in doing so it will be ignored by the scan because it's been accepted as a direct quote. So we put that in inverted commas to start with. Um, she's looked further at um, the scans and uh, like the television shows, magazine articles and advertisements have also created a social context. Again, she's discovered that this is a direct quote from um, Spedigue and Henderson and has decided that she's going to change that as well. So she's going to put that in inverted commas. She's decided that um, the first one, as Klein stated, um, she can't find the original quote for that, so she's going to change the wording of it. But we're just going to leave it, have, make the two changes that we've made, which is putting them in inverted commas. Um, other changes may require you to change the text, to reword it. If it's a copy and paste without a reference, you may have to reword it so that it's, uh, you show your understanding of it. Um, you have to be careful about overusing inverted commas, obviously, because um, not everything can be a direct, direct quote. You have to have your own input as well. But in this instance, we've taken these two and we've changed them to direct quotes. And we're going to see what difference that makes when we rescan. It should see a, a small percentage drop, um, and we should see our 13% fall below the 10% mark at least. So what I'm going to do now is, having made those changes, now they've been saved to the original document, but you want to resubmit this document, so we always advise, and this is important, that if you're resubmitting, you, you name the document slightly differently, so that you have a, a record of the, the various documents, and you can recognize whether you've got the right document submitted or not. And that is important. So we're going to click on the file here, and we're going to save as. Instead of saving it as it is now, we're just going to save it as. And we're going to save as a copy online, so we're going to save it into the OneDrive. Now it's called Jane Doe Mental Health Essay 1, or Essay 1, we're going to call it 2 to, to show that it's version 2. And we're going to save that. Done. We can now close that document, it's been saved. and we go back into our OneDrive. Now it's not showing up in the OneDrive yet, so we just click on Refresh, and that just refreshes your folder. And there's our document, Jane Doe Mental Health Essay 2. So we now know we have a second one, and this is the one we've made the changes to. So we go back to our dashboard, go back into our assignment,
Okay, our essay. And again, we click on Edit Submission this time. And it brings us back to the submission page. So we want to delete this one and upload the new one. So we just click on the document. It opens up. There's the original document. We're going to delete that document. So we click on Delete. And we click OK. And the document vanishes. We now have no submission. So now we want to add our second submission. So we go to our file picker again. And again, the 365 OneDrive. And in that OneDrive, we will find our new document, Jane Doe Mental Health Essay 2, version 2. So we click on that. We select this file, exactly the same process as the original submission. Again, we need to click on the acknowledgement. And don't forget to click on the save changes. Don't click your back button, save changes to save the new one. Now, when it returns back, we will see that the Jane Doe mental health document is the two is the one that's there now. Once again, in, in about five to ten minutes or so, the initial scan will be done, and we'll we'll get a similarity report back for that. So we we'll come back to this um, as soon as as soon as that that report comes in, we'll return to it. So our five minutes are down or so, and we're back with with, with Jane Doe, and we're going back into our submitted essay document. So we click on the essay link, brings us back into the essay submission status page, and we can see the usual information. But what's changed here now is that where our original document was Jane Doe Mental Health Essay 1, we changed that and resubmitted it as Essay 2, and the similarity index has now dropped to 10%. So let's quickly have a look at that report to see if the changes that we made were taken into account. It's doing its scan and crawling the source, analyzing the sentences, looking for phrases, and bang. So now, what's different? The first two quotes still remain, but if we scan on down here now, we'd see that the two that we made changes to as one of them here have been changed. If we look at our, our original report, we can call that back up again fairly quickly. We can see two of them. The television shows, magazine articles has now become a quote. And as a direct quote, you can see it grayed out there. It's being ignored by the system. And uh, the, the last one, the Dr. Costa quote, we can see is also, and there it is there, we found evidence, we found evidence. So that's now been put into inverted commas and is being ignored. And the result is that we've, we've dropped it by 3%. Uh, similarity wise and it's now down to just 10% similarity okay just gonna close off those and back to our assignment so bear in mind though that that's the scan after f five minutes or so and that will continue to scan in the background looking for other similarities so it's, it's it, it is important to note that you know, if you're making last-minute submissions, you're making submission, you know, with only a half an hour to go before the cutoff time. Um, you will only get that initial report. You'll most likely not get the the full report. Um, so, if there are any other similarities, they may be counted. They generally can add uh, percentages to uh, the scan, but very often they don't. Um, however, it's safer to submit your material well in time so that you have the opportunity after a couple of hours to review and see if there's any been any further similarities identified. Okay, that's all um, for that. Um, in next in next video, we're, we're probably going to take a look at um, how you might upload a video for for grading.